from Belgrade. Welcome to University Library, uh, to the work, to our workshop, project workshop. Uh, University Library Director, Mr. Uh, Alexander Erkov, will greet you now. Ladies and gentlemen, dear friends, my dear fellow librarians, welcome to Belgrade. We are so glad to have you here to spend some time with us, to share everything that we can share, even my voice that this morning does not sound that great at all. Out of sheer joy that you are coming, I have got a bad cough. So <laughs> forgive me for that and I'll try to stay close but not too close and not to disseminate everything that we can share. <laughs> but I'm very glad that you are here really for various reasons. First of all, we don't live that much international here in Serbia, so this is a special event for us and we are really looking forward to moments like this one when you can reach us and you can come here, then we feel ourselves a bit more integrated in the whole world. We see this as a, some kind of early benefit of our efforts to reach out and to share ourselves with the European community. In your efforts to build um, European informational highways, you are actually establishing a certain, uh, shall we say, home of valuable information, it's not to stop and shop, but to stop and stay to live and to share our heritage and our contemporary history. Since I teach Serbian literary history, contemporary Serbian literature at the University of Belgrade, I know and I can evaluate what means the history that has already become the past and still it is not an ancient tradition, it's something that is alive and close to us. So I wish you welcome to Belgrade, for those of you who came for the first time to Belgrade especially. I hope you will be coming back more and more often, as much as you can. We will always greet you and you can always be our guest, definitely. Belgrade is a strange city, you will see, I love it myself. It's not hard to love Rome and Paris and Berlin, but to love Belgrade it takes an effort and courage and a spiritual strength. To see something beautiful where there is not that much beauty, architecturally speaking, around ourselves. That means that you are able to find art. Art is very often beautiful when it does not look like beautiful at all. And um, since this is uh, a meeting devoted to refinement, something that you can't do overdue, you can't too much refine something. But if you manage to refine something really, then you reach art. And then you're in my hands. <laughs> so I hope that in due time, today, tomorrow, and in the end of this project, we will be very successful. I myself have joined this institution here recently, and I'm really looking forward to spend as much time as I can with you to learn as much as I can about new projects, about new technologies, about your approaches, and everything. I hope that we will share that among ourselves and definitely spread that around as a good word and a good message to everyone. I'm also happy that we can have you here in this old building, old 1926, not that old, but old for Belgrade, because Belgrade has been a couple of times erased from the earth, from the face of the earth. By the end of the 18th century, Belgrade looked like more like a Wien, Budapest. But then by the 1730, there was nothing left except stones that Turkish government used very purposely building some other buildings that you can't see here because we have managed ourselves to raise something. And I'm not very proud of that, even though it's a part of history, but still, it's something that we have to live with and it's something that we have to start and build on and develop ourselves. So the Belgrade will show you some different faces. One, it's cars, our history, and the other one that has made us even proud saying that this is the fastest developing city that offers as much joy and fun to young people in the Europe. Well, I don't know, maybe next time they will be writing about our university and library system and how much university and library information we can offer and share with the world and that will make all of us very proud and I thank you for helping us to reach that. I won't waste more of your time, especially since I didn't cough, which I think is something that they have really achieved. And I will invite our dear colleague, Hans Philipp Leitner, who will tell you a few words about the project. And, oh, you will be me first, sorry. That has not been mentioned to me. I, I sincerely apologize and please, 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 please do it. The microphone is yours.
workshop on refinement and quantity assessment this time. So thank you all for coming, for being here, for sharing uh, this day with us. So work package six is all about dissemination and exploitation. This workshop is uh, a part of work package six and um, we're all about uh, facilitating the sharing of best practice, raising the awareness and um, um, promoting uh, this project. So let's start. We're going to have a meet and greet and ask me almost anything and a democracy one. So what's that? The meet and greet will be, we want to know who you are, uh, we want to engage with you, we want to see what your uh, projects are, and you want to know who our partners are. So we've uh, put some questions together to, to see, uh, want to get to know each other a little bit better. Um, about the picture, I didn't know about the set of context of that picture, but let's make it a, a happier thing. Ask me almost anything. So I'm sure you have lots of questions for our uh, <coughs> experts in refinement and quality assessment. So you can ask the questions during the, the sessions, but we also have a wonderful box where you can deposit your, your questions and we will um, answer them as best as we can in, in this workshop. Then we want to know what you thought of the workshop, um, what you thought of what we've been sharing with you. So um, we we'll invite you there to, to share your, your thoughts in the democracy wall at the end of the, the room. Um, you, can, you can write uh, about what you discovered, what you've learned. So for example, I discovered yesterday night that uh, the Danish uh, Royal Library is going to uh, digitize 32 million uh, newspaper pages. And uh, yeah, so. That's what I'm going to put on the wall. And then our upcoming events. Please join us in Amsterdam and in London next year. So we'll also be taking pictures, we're filming, and um, we would like you to share your pictures on our uh, Flickr account, Facebook, tweet away. And uh, if you have a problem with, uh, with your image being shared, please. Tell Frida over there or me, and we'll make sure that doesn't happen. So, thank you, and thank you. <coughs>